I'm here with Joshua Schladen from Angelist. First of all, thank you for being in the conference. Thank you. And can you talk a little about what is Angelist for the public who's not seeing the conference here? Sure. Um, Angelist is a platform for startups. Um, we help startups fundraise, we help them recruit. Uh, we've moved somewhere around a half billion dollars through introductions that have been made on Angelist. We also do online investments, so uh, we've done about 83 million dollars that we've actually moved online. Um, we've helped thousands of people find jobs through Angelist. Um, goes on and on. We're just kind of a platform to serve all of startups' uh, needs as they grow. Okay. And how do you see the importance of bringing uh, the experience of a more mature uh, culture such as the USA to developing countries such as Brazil? Yeah, well, the, the startup uh, world in the Valley has had 20 years to mature almost, and even further back than that. Um, and when I come down here, I see some really great things. Um, you know, the first piece that needs to be in place is the money. And it's great that there are investors here. And even more exciting with the kind of stuff that Angelist is doing, uh, money can move across borders much more easily. So, uh, for example, Descomplica, which is a big uh, success story in startups yeah. in Brazil, yeah. they actually raised some money on Angelus from U.S. investors. Oh, yeah. um, so it's good that the money can cross borders. I feel like the culture is crossing borders as well. Uh, it's great to come down here and talk to uh, entrepreneurs uh, about culture and building companies and things like that. So I think that's kind of the next step uh, in the spread of the influence from the Valley. We talked a lot about talent, people, talented mm -hmm. people, and the importance of uh, culture and resiliency <laughs> and self-awareness. Uh, can you talk more about this? Yeah, um, I, I think the modern startup is getting leaner and leaner. And oh, yeah. Um, there's so many people out there with experience being founders themselves or running their own projects. Um, so I really advise people when they build companies to try to get as much of that experience inside the company as possible. Um, and sort of how, uh, at least in the valley, it's okay to fail. Um, in fact, uh, it's, 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 some, it's a good sign on your resume if you at least tried to do something and failed as long as it was bold and uh, you know, you're in the right direction. Um, so we try to emulate that in a smaller scale in our team, where people inside Angelist almost run their own little startups within Angelist. Um, and, and I think it's important to let people do that and let them fail and still support them. And uh, you know, you can usually tell which ones you should let go of and which ones you should still keep yeah, afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. And can you talk a little uh, about what are, uh, are the next steps of Angelist in Brazil? Yeah, so we don't have anything directly on the radar for Brazil. Um, you know, I've heard some really great stories of people already just walking around the conference that have found jobs or co-founders or, um, as I said, Descomplica. Um, I, and I know in other startups are raising money through Angelist. So we try to do as much as we can through code. Um, right now we're experimenting in the UK, um, opening up that market with some people on the ground there. And depending on how that experiment goes, uh, I could see maybe in the future we'll come to Brazil because they roll out this experience to a country such as Brazil. Yeah, uh, it looks like it's certainly a hot spot for startups. Okay. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised at some point down the road we we put some people on the ground in Brazil and try to see if we can open the market here. Okay, so Joshua, have a nice time in Brazil. Thank you, and thank you for being present here. Thank you, thank you very much.